While visiting Zastava, we got our hands on a rifle that I've been itching to try and would love to see in the US, the M21 in 5.56mm. A perfect combination for the US market for those who don't want to have yet another AR, but would love the availability and range of commercial loads that exist in the 5.56 and 2.23. This has particular value in the competition world and it ranges that are picky about projectiles as currently Hornady is the only maker of non-bimetal 5.45x39M. On the international arms market, the M21 makes a great bridge gap for former Warsaw Pact countries looking to join NATO but not wanting to give up the training and logistical systems already in place for the Kalashnikov system. Recognizing the variety of needs and roles that an assault rifle can play for a military, Zestava has many different models available. A handful of features make this more than just another AK chambered in 5.56. A selector switch on the left side of the grip. A side rail for optics. The magazine release is slightly wider and rounded, much more comfortable for a quick grab. Reinforced RPK style receiver, as we've come to expect from Zestava. A rear sight mounted mid cover, bringing the rear sight closer to the shooter's eye that can be flipped down to stay out of the way of optics. A hinged top cover like we've seen on the Suchok and other AK subguns. The lugs on the folding stock are unmistakably strong. The trigger had a crisp and clean reset on this fresh off the assembly line rifle. The selector switch, however, was quite stiff as is typical of new AKs. Bursts were easily managed with more rearward recoil than rise. Here's some more close-ups of the features. Erica took it to the bench, and at 100 meters on iron sights, it did okay, but I think there's definite potential. The A and ABS models already have an acceptable barrel length for the U.S. market, and would require only conversion to semi-auto. I hope Century listens and brings this model to the U.S. market.